did you quit? From that? How long did you quit your corporate job? Early 2000s. So we did our first deal together in 2003. We quit our retail cars jobs in 2004. And we've been full time ever since 2004. Okay, cool. So and going on 18 years. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and every ever since you bought that first one together, do you guys only partner with each other, or do you guys still dabble on your own if you find like a good deal? I'd say up until the last two years or something like that, everything was just the two of us, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't unless know. you were out cheating on me, and I didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> I heard you were cheating on me, so I had to right. get you back. No, uh, we've we've done a few things in the last I don't know two three years or whatever yeah. that you know weren't with aren't with each other or whatever. But our everyday business is our partnership. Everything's fifty nice. fifty. Yeah, that's cool. So now most of y'all's rentals and everything are owned fifty fifty as well. Correct. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And so you first got started, you bought the subject too, and you and you wholesaled your first deal together. Is that how it got started? That was my said? deal when we talked but about it. Before, yeah. before, before, before right, you guys. Anything. Yeah. yeah, so our first deal that we did together was from the Jailbird, who, um, and Brian was like, all right, so the Jailbird's got, he didn't say my mentor, whatever the guy's name was, uh, we're not going to say. And uh, he said, hey, I, you know, I've got this deal, and, um, you know, he's going to sell it to us. We've got to make a decision right away. And if you don't want to do it, I'll do it. I'll do it without you. I'm like, well, I, I, I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, see, just like that. Yeah, yeah, pretty, like that. Pretty I'm embellishing you a little bit. You can tell. And that was you're a like, good impression. I'm like, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Sounds about right. So, at one point, so I, I think we had taken a quick look at it or whatever. And, and it's funny, though, because, and Brian was right the whole time, which I'll go ahead and give him that. But I thought that when, when you, in real estate investing, you, you wanted to be in like really nice areas and, you know, it, it, going in some of the areas that we go into and you, I know you, you're in, we've sold you a yeah. couple of properties in a rough area. Um, at that time I was like, I'm not going in that area, yeah. you know? Um, but it turned, and he was like, well, you, if you think you're going to go do a bunch of deals over in the West end in perfect neighborhoods, then, you know, this isn't the right business for you. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. So. We ended up uh, accepting an assignment of that contract. So I think he had it under contract for maybe 10 and we we're buying it for 20. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's crazy though, but the house was a burnout, you know? And, and of course that was my first deal. And he had already been, been obviously into a few deals at that point. And um, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is crazy, you know? But I was like, all right, I'll go along with it. I'll, I'll trust in the, in the process. And so we got it under contract and the contractors that we had brought out there during our little due diligence period, you know, they had said it might cost 35,000 to renovate or whatever. Well, once we close on it and then you go back and you get them to do the deal, then they're like, you know, 65,000. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, we're only going to make 25,000 on this deal to begin with. So that's not going to work. So we thought, okay, well, we screwed up, we made a mistake, but that's all right. We're going to learn from it. So we put it on the market <laughs> with a real estate agent. And I remember meeting her that, I, I mean, I remember the night we went to her office and she was like, and that was basically what I told her, I'm like, Hey, we really screwed up and we're going to go ahead and take our loss on this. She's like, well, why are you going to take a loss on it? I'm like, cause it's just not worth it. You know, we can't get it fixed for any, you know, any less or whatever. And she goes, Oh no, you're not going to lose money on this. She's like, we'll put this thing in. She's like, I even get, probably got a buyer for it right now. So <laughs> she said, we'll put it on the market for X amount of dollars. And, and we left there and I, was, I felt a little bit encouraged, but I remember being kind of pessimistic, like I am a lot. Um, and, but I think the next day, the very next day, she had a contract to sell it for enough that would end up netting us. I think it was like $3,200. Yeah, I was going to say 3,800. It was, it was right around there. And we thought that was all the money in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, I, mean, I, I was prepared to lose five or 10,000. Yeah, 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 it was also, yeah. I mean, it was like, a, it was a little bit of a reality come true, right? Like, hey, you can screw up and still make money in this business. And it was a good size check at the time. We're like, right. man, we got this figured out. But what's interesting about it is one guy got another contract for 10,000, wholesaled it for 20,000 on an assignment. And then we put it on the market and sold it and netted over three thousand dollars on it and you still made agents you paid hey, real real through two yeah, there, yeah. a bunch of fees in there too and still yeah. made closing still costs out. on yeah. both sides and you didn't do anything to it any work at all nothing wow, wow. <laughs> now i know that doesn't sound like a big bunch of money or anything yeah. but it, 